Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to overclock your controller to get the best input delay possible here in Black Ops Cold War. Uh, I'm currently using a DualSense PS5 controller in this tutorial, but uh, you can do it with a DualShock 4 controller and I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if you can do it, do it with an Xbox controller, uh, Xbox One controller, but uh, I'm pretty sure you can. You can still try it. It's not going to hurt anything, but um, okay, so we're gonna start off right here i'm gonna show you guys what i'm rocking with real quick so this is ds4 uh if you haven't already i recommend after this video go and check out my ds4 windows uh video it's gonna show you the best settings to use in cold war and warzone um but yeah if you if you don't have ds4 go check out that video and uh come back here or you know after the video either way uh, but right here you can see my input delay is zero milliseconds okay guys this is zero millisecond input delay from this method that i'm about to show you and this is my controller moving the joystick right there there you go zero milliseconds let's go ahead and get started so i'm going to leave a link in the description to this website right here uh you're going to click on this zip file right here It'll be third from the top third down all right so let's um let's see yeah you click download i already have it downloaded but you're going to click download once it downloads, click it. It's gonna open up. Let's go to my downloads right here. Boom, boom. All right, you're gonna see this zip file. You're gonna right click, extract all. You can extract it to your desktop. A lot of people do that. Um, or you could just extract it to another file. So find that unzipped file, click it. Sorry, double click it. All right, you're gonna see this. Go ahead and click driver. You can read these if you want, um, but they're not really important, but just click driver, click setup yes okay all right so right here this is where it's going to show all of your devices all right but you're not going to see your controller what you have to do is go up here it says mice this, these are your devices click here click all all right all right so here's my controller i've already overclocked it this is what it'll look like when it's overclocked fully overclocked um so yeah but here we go so let's see usually it'll be on you know default whatever Anyway, so what you're going to want to do is how you find your controller is it was hard for me to find my controller because right here it says headset, headset microphone, but that's not my, I mean, that's my controller. I don't know why it says that, but um, you have to find your controller uh, when you're playing wired. You have to do this when you're wired, you know, unplug your controller. All right. And then one's going to disappear. Plug it back in. Plug your controller back in. And you, you'll be able to find your controller. Okay. So. When you do that and you find your controller and your bit interval, you, I think mine was three or five before I did this. By default, it was like three or five. So uh, that's another way too. But um, yeah, so click here and then click install service. All right, and then go over to rate. And then it'll be default normally before you do this. So go to rate and then put it on a thousand. All right, see, mine's on a thousand. Put it on a thousand. All right install service after you do that install service and then filter it'll say no before you do this all right click this box right here check this box filter on device all right and it should say yes now if you get an error message after you clicking this it, it might say fatal error message with a long error message if that's the case then what you're gonna have to do is uh, restart your PC uh, I forgot which key it is um, I'll put it in the description, I think. But uh, yeah, you're going to have to restart your PC, go to your BIOS settings, and disable secure boot. So if you're getting that long error message, uh, you're going to have to disable your secure boot in your BIOS settings. You can look up a video, too, on how to do that. It's pretty easy. Uh, I did not run into that problem, but one of my friends did. Uh, but the majority of people don't run into it. Odds are you might not, but if you do, that's one way to fix it. So yeah, <clears throat> anyway, should just go smoothly. But yeah, turn on filter on device. Make sure this is at a thousand. Install this service. You know, install. Boom, thousand. Then turn that on. All right, and install service. All right. After you do that, unplug your controller. All right, and when you plug it back in, it should pop up and it should say filter yes, rate one thousand, bit interval one. All right, that's what it should say. And that's how you know it worked but if it's red if it's red if any of these bars are red um then you're uh, you're gonna have to do what you just did backwards 
So change this back to default, you know, and then uncheck this and then install, unplug, replug your controller. But if it's red, it that means it didn't work. And if that's the case, it is more than likely because for some reason you can't do it on your controller. Like maybe you have to download some drivers on your controller. Just check and see if you have to do that. Um, and it could be your secure boot again. So yeah, if you run into that, I've never ran into those problems, so I'm not too sure. I'm not exactly sure on how to fix it. I just have a general idea. I never ran into those problems and you shouldn't either. So this is how you overclock your controller to get zero milliseconds here in Black Ops Cold War or any game. Uh, if you haven't done this yet, you're going to see a huge difference in the response time of your controller. Uh, it's going to take maybe a little bit of getting used to, not long. Uh, but yeah, it definitely going to help out with your aim and your shots and your movement and all that. But anyway, guys, yeah, I appreciate you for clicking on the video. Thanks for watching. If this helped, please drop me a like or a sub. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.